Okay, this video I'm making two candles. One, a regular candle in here. And this one is a wooden wick. Now the wooden wicks are just a thin slither of wood that you slide into a base like that and glue that into the bottom of your container. Now for this size of glass, I like to put two together in just so you get a good burn. But more often than not, you get the gap between the two. This one's actually sitting nicely. What I do is I just drop a thin little tiny drop of wax through the center and then use another clip as a clamp, basically. So I'll do that with this. Just some wax down the middle. And hold it together. With that. And let that set. It doesn't take long. With the wooden wicks, you also either put a thin layer of wax on or a thin layer of oil on before you put them into the candle. Just so they burn properly. And this one, I'll put a drop of the fragrance oil on. So that's set. It's looking like it has. Let's take that off. Now when you're putting on your fragrance oil or wax, you need to be really careful and not get it onto the base. Because then the base won't stick. But to make sure the base is nice and clean. Let's give it a rub on there. Nice and clean. So I use a syringe just to put a tiny amount on. This one is Velvet Rose and Oud, and it's a Jo Malone scent. It's lovely. It just takes a few drops, it doesn't take much. And then that's ready. I'm not taking it all the way to the top because I will be trimming this wick back. There we go. Put that back in the bottle. And we just stick these like we do with a regular candle. Make sure we get it in the centre. Give it a good push down. And there we go. We're all ready to go. So I will weigh out my wax. Move it out of the way for now. Scales have been a bit temperamental before they're doing it again. Not zeroing properly. There we go. Because I'm doing candles, I'm a lot more exact with the temperatures. Time to dye this. Now this one is a nice strong red. Now plenty of dyeing. There we go. I'm gonna use the Becro dye. The Becro dye is by far the best dye that I've used. Gives you a nice strong colour and it's even. A little bit more. 
the red looks so nice in the black containers as well. Lost a bit. No mica goes in these. The mica, it chokes the wicks. And you don't get a proper burn, so you don't get your fragrance off. I'll give that a little heat up. It. We'll wick this one. Nice and easy to use these little double sided pads. There we go, in the centre, give it a good push down. I put the glasses in the oven just to warm them through a little bit as it's a cooler day today. We had a frost last night, so just to get them to settle evenly and stick to the glass. Okay. Zero. There we go. I need to give it a stir for a good couple of minutes just to get them to mix together. All right, we're about ready to pour. Temperature again. I'm looking for a minimum of maybe thirty five. Needs a little bit more heat. Now because it's a wood wick, it's nice and easy, you don't need to support this, it just stays where you've left it. Whereas your regular wicks are, as you can see, paper and cotton wrapped around each other. And they've got a thin layer of wax on. So as soon as you pour that wax in, it melts and it, they get very soft. So you need that support and it held in place. Okay, we'll have a check. Oops. Yeah, we're there. I'm just going to put a little bit extra red in. It looks quite light. I mean, this just melts instantly into it. So we're at the right temp. The wax and fragrance have had enough time to bond to each other. It's time to pour. There we go. 
and it's ready. We'll come back when it's set. While we're waiting on those to set, we'll carry on with the other one. So just a standard one. I'll look centre into all of these things. Catch it in the little notch and it's ready to go. This is one already made up. You can see through them. It's sort of lovely when they burn down and you get that pattern. Check our wax. Okay, one up. Add our fragrance oil. This one is cannabis flower and it's absolutely beautiful. Good stirring. This one's just white, but it being in the silver, I've got um, these glasses in gold as well, and that plain colour just looks lovely. Stir it nice and gently so you're not getting loads of air bubbles. Right, I'll check that temperature again. Okay, ready to pull. Turn it so I don't catch it. Check that level as I go. I like to get as much wax in there as I can, but also enough room for the wick to sit nicely. There we are. All right, that's them all done. We'll come back soon. All right, we're back. These are set for four hours. Me too, actually. And this one's set as well, so that clip can come off. And the clip is out. There we go. And these, these are the best things ever. Toenail clippers. And give these a snip. There we are. Um, because I kind of glued them together with some wax, the set as one piece. Same with this one. There we are. Done. So that's how you make good wicks, candles, and use them.